Welcome to Zen in 10 with the Calcasieu Parish Public Library. This is 10 minutes of breathing and stretching for adults of all levels for a happier, healthier body and mind. Did you know that May is National Corrector Posture Month? After today's video, if you're interested in more information on keeping your spine healthy and correcting your posture, check out calcasieulibrary.org for all of our findings, including ebooks, DVDs, music, and more. Hey everyone, I'm Katie. Thanks for joining me for Zen and 10. This is gonna be just 10 minutes of breathing and some postures and some stretching. Today, specifically, we're gonna be working on uh, posture strengthening poses. So during this odd time in our lives, it's really important that you give yourself a little bit of time every day to connect with yourself. And uh, probably the biggest reason that I hear why someone doesn't is because they think they need a full hour and they don't have the time and I totally get that but you would be amazed at how much better and more connected you feel with just 10 minutes in the morning and in the evening or even on your lunch break so that's what our hopes are for sharing this with you so let's get started um, we're gonna check in with our breathing first and to do that it's really nice to close your eyes and it allows you to kind of focus inward regardless of what's going on around you. And then just see how you're already breathing. You might already be breathing deeply or you might not. And then you want to purposely deepen your breathing. And when I do this, I like to place my hand on my belly. It just gives me a point of contact and I can feel my breath as I inhale and I exhale. So try this on your own for three, four, five breath cycles, inhaling and exhaling deeply. And then we're going to begin with an inhale, reaching our arms up, relaxing our ears, our shoulders away from our ears, rather. And then take a side bend. Just go whichever way feels natural to you to go first. And you can adjust your bottom hand. And we're going to place our hand behind our heads right here. And I'm not putting any weight on my head. It's just placed behind. I'm going to gaze up past my shoulder, up to the sky or the trees or the ceiling. And on an exhale, round your back and draw your elbow towards the opposite knee. And on your inhale, opening back up so you feel this expansion across your chest. And on the exhale, Draw your knee towards your, your elbow towards your knee. And then opening up on your inhale. Try that just a couple of times following your breath. Oh, and coming back to center. And then we're gonna try the other side. Gazing up past our elbow, and on the exhale, drawing your elbow towards your knee. Inhale, opening. And a few times on your own. Good. Come 
him back to center. And then we're going to move on to cat cows. And a lot of the time in a practice, the postures are named after animals because you'll notice that you are either imitating um, a stance of the animal or it's something about the posture um, can be remind you of the animal. So cat cows, we're going to place our hands just underneath. We're going to place them on the mat so that our elbow and our shoulders are in line as well. And as you exhale, you feel your back around. You press your navel up towards your spine and you tuck your chin slightly to your chest. And on your inhale for cow, you let your belly relax. You feel your sits bones lift and your chin slightly lift. And keep going. Exhale, rounding. And inhale, arching. Following your breath cycle, and then coming back to center, then allow your hips to sway gently from side to side. So it's the movement um, feels like you're wagging a tail if you had one, or creating an S shape. And then come back to seated. So that combination just warms up your spine, lets you undulate your spine, and it feels really good in the morning or like I said, in the evening before bed. Um, and it's just really good to energize you. The last posture that we're gonna move through today is downward dog, but I wanna show you a quick modification in case there's anyone watching that has issues with your wrists. You can modify by coming down to your forearms and moving through down downward dog there. But if you don't and you're fine, like you'll place them on the mat, lined up with your elbows and shoulders. You don't want to move your head too much once you're in the posture. You want to allow your neck to extend, tucking your toes, lifting your hips up and back, and straightening your legs, making any adjustments here. And see, I don't want to be looking around. I want to let my head hang we say like a bowling ball and it feels really good to bend one knee at a time you feel this wonderful stretch on the back of your hamstrings try not to round your back you want to lengthen back to seated. So of course you can move through those combination of postures as many times as you would like, pausing where you would like, spending a few extra breaths in one place or another. That is our postures for today. I hope you'll join me again for Zen in 10. Have a good one. If you enjoyed today's Zen in 10, let us know in the comments below. And remember, be happy, read often, and imagine your story.